this is supposed to be nighttime, I think? So why is it so bright and colorful and cheery? This is very much not my modus operandi. But nevertheless, it is Springfest Splatfest time here in, well, the Splatlands. Listen up, it's going down. Repping the Splatlands, we are Deep Cut, Anarchy Splatcast, we're live, here we go. You lip sync, we drip ink, shiver, fry, and big man. The soft and fluffy Splatfest has begun. Join in the fun by choosing a team at the pledge box on the street. Who's ready to toss some fizz bangs? Hit up the battle pot in the lobby to check the rules and how to use them. The Splatfest main event is underway, so let's see the Splatfest sneak peek results. Which team won? I gotta know! Now, which team got the most conch shells during the Splatfest sneak peek? Bears. Okay. By 0.3%, maybe 0.4%, but that's pretty close. Great work on Splat on the Splatfest sneak peek, everyone, but the real deal starts now. Good luck, everyone! We're just gonna skip all this real quick. So bears are currently in the lead. But also, it is a themed Splatfest, and I need to get that Lucha Libre mask. I happen to see that, I'm like, I need to get that. <laughs> I only have like, what, 10 days to get it at this rate? But yeah, it's, see all the changes that are here within, oh, that, okay, that is adorable. That is adorable. Gotta fresh that real quick. But oh yeah, look at all of this. We got a big old cactus thing here. We got really good artwork. And of course, that's not it. We have, you know, the, uh, what are those eggs? Those like Splatoon eggs or something. It's going to be very Easter themed for spring, even though Easter happened three weeks ago at this rate. Was that Klonoa? Oh my goodness, that's Klonoa. Technically, he's a Cabot, but <clears throat> no, uh, yeah, very nice. Very nice. Sorry, I got distracted there because I'm a huge Klonoa fanboy. So we got all these colors here. Look at all of this. We've got the ducks holding an egg. But I think more importantly than anything else is that Deep Cut are now repping. Oh, hang on. It's probably not a really good camera angle to see all that. It might actually be easier if we just take a look at the screen here. You'll notice that Deep Cut are now wearing different colored outfits. Well, at least Shiver and Fry are. Also, look at all the bubbles. Look at all the bubbles. So many bubbles. <laughs> Oh, there, there's some really good artwork. Oh, there's some good, good artwork. I see you peeking. Yeah, let's head up here so that way when the Deep Cut members float by, we'll be able to get really good look at them. So we were looking down at them. Uh, can I... This is not the best angle, I'm sorry. But yeah, there's Fry. Look at that wonderful... I'm on her team this time around. Maybe I actually stood up a little too high. Let me just... Jumped out of railing. Hopefully in time to catch Shiver. Actually, yeah, this would be a much better. There's Shiver's outfit. Pretty much a recolor. Yeah, it can't really get very good angles from here. So sorry about that, but... Also, the music's got like a jaw harp or something? Did I hear that right? Oh, I heard that right. But coming around the corner should be none other than Big Man himself. There he is. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to hold the camera steady. You know how motion controls are. Yeah, that is a look. Oh, goodness. We got some hanging lanterns. There's Max again for some reason. Just look how incredibly colorful this whole place is. Right? Everyone's got that spring fever coming in. What, what does this say? I was forced to pick Bunny. I am rooting for Team Bear. Oh, we have special excellent ads going on the truck. I guess. But yeah, this is not the only place where there are some uh, changes. Oh no, just look at all this wonderful color here in the uh, there. See, there's Fry. That's what her outfit looks like there. But yeah, also... We have two other places to check. We have Inkopolis Plaza.
Another wonderful. Oh, look at that. The Katsune's got a little flowery lay on. The Tanuki's got a little flowery lay on. And eggs. And Marie. A little bit of the Easter fever with the little egg hat going on there. Callie's over here. Along with the egg hat. Oh, yeah. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Uh, anything that's over? Why is Rayman here? Oh, Rabbids. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Man, they really need to bring, bring back Rayman proper. I know there's a DLC, and I have that DLC. I just haven't gotten around to play it because, oh, goodness, 2023 had so many games. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that is not a night sky at all. Let's go, Bears. We've got so much good artwork over here. Uh, Spike is... <laughs> I mean... One of the shivering for its life sea urchins is wearing a hat, at least. <laughs> but there's one more space we gotta check, and that is Inkopolis Square. Let's see this place all glitz and glammed up for Easter time stuff, right? Oh, yeah. All oh, the lasers. Let's see how these two are looking. Um, hey, Pearl? Marina? Why do we look like goth band members, I'm guessing? Did no one tell you what colors were? <laughs> That's a little weird. <laughs> I mean, the laser show is still awesome and all, but uh, yeah, I'm... I'm not entirely sure why they're going counterculture here. <laughs> Whatever. They're still awesome. Oh, uh, yes. There's not really a whole lot to look at here because it's literally just a hallway. That's pretty much all there is to it. But, yeah, we've got eggs over here. A huge stack of them. Inflatables. Yeah, very much a spring fest look. I am going to go ahead and step inside the lobby because it's the same for all the places. Because every single one of these special Splatfests has two things. One, music. That's unique. That song you're hearing is Meadowlark by the Saplings. Apparently I have a new song. Oh, hang on. It's... Suffer No Fools. Oh, there it is. That's the new Splatfest music. We've also got Color Pulse. We're so back. We got Side Order. This is just all the stuff. Yeah, whoop de doo Oh, we got more dead fish. Ooh, neat. And in other, I believe I was mistaken last time that there was Spicy Calamari Incantation. That can't be right. Oh, Fresh Start, Squid Sisters. Somewhere in here, there would be the Into the Light by Off the Hook. That's where that music comes from in Inkopolis Square when the Splatfest is over, but the results aren't quite there yet. Oh, there's a lot of music here. <laughs> Souvenirs. Oh, yeah. Probably just a lot of spoilers for those of you who haven't even touched uh, uh, any of that. But, yep. But more importantly, we've got decals we need to find here. Oh, would you look at that? We got... Squid eggs on a Easter egg hunt or something. Hang on a second. This is going to bother me. If I'm not actually in my quote-unquote try-hard gear, let me just fresh as fits, swap over to this. I swear, anytime I rolled this set, at least, you know, in recent patches and all that, I am very good with it. I want to say, like, even the icon in the upper right has changed, but no, I think it's always been that rainbow color. So up on the walls, we're going to take a look. We got eggs. We got like squids in, like fish or something. <laughs> All right. Just a lot of them. This is, this is literally an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> I just realized it. <laughs> All right. So anything else over here? Oh, there's a lot. Wow, there's a lot over here they're hiding. Let me just speed up some time over there. 
I don't think there's anything too crazy, though. Yeah, it looks like it's just repeating that pattern again and again and again. So why don't I go ahead and get into one match. Just one. It's the pro level. Because with all the other Splatfests that are, you know, seasonal, you had Frosty Fest, which had a unique opening and ending. You had the Creepy Spooky Fest, which had its unique opening and closing. Why don't we take a look at just the opening and closing for what we've got here. As soon as it loads, which might be a little while. One moment! Here we go. That's a musical choice, but yeah, here we go. That's our team. That's their team. We're going against the Bears, which I think might have a population advantage just because the game. <laughs> if, uh, if you don't know the significance about this game and Bears, you may want to play single player or watch my single player series that I made when this game first came out. <laughs> yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, we got trouble. Thank you, pardon me. Have some of that, huh? Ow. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, that's a lot of run speed on that dude. Yeah, that dude's actually kicking his butt. Wow, I'm I'm sure I hit open. No, not open. Uh oh, got him, team. We can hold more fizz bangs, and we are in danger. Oh no, that ain't good. So apparently there was like a big worlds tournament that happened, and there was a turf wars match where even the pros got uh kind of decimated. <laughs> Not doing that. Sorry. Are you kidding me? That heavy splatling is a real pain. All right, here we go. So far, it seems pretty evenly mowed here. That didn't work. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this game. I'm a little rusty. I swear I'm not one of those people that's incredibly salty and blames his teammates every single moment I can because that gets super old and annoying. Make no mistakes, I will blame teammates, but not that often anymore. <laughs> and now they're the ones who are in danger. Out of my way, out of my way. Got him. So many fizzy bombs. Yeah, I think we won that one. Let's hear that ending jingle. That is a jingle. <laughs> That's weird, not gonna lie. Not a fan of it. But regardless, there we go. That is basically the results and spotting as many differences as I can with the Springfest Splatfest. So, what's going to happen here? Yeah, there we go. 60 out of 100. I'm going to stop here because on my stream, which is going to be Saturday at noon, which is usually when I stream, oh, Little Bunny's won 100 times the match. Congratulations to the winning team of Tamora, Toast, Steven, and Reswim. <laughs> 
Congratulations, you guys and gals, probably. But yeah, what's going to happen is that I will be streaming everything from uh, going from where I'm at right now up to Ruler. And then after that, I'm going to basically call it quits. I'll do a couple tricolor matches just to say I did it. But yeah, that VOD will be going up on my YouTube channel as soon as I possibly can. And uh, until next time, everybody, take care.